everyone welcome to my channel so today I am going to be unboxing the balanced home box for spring of 2023 now if you're unfamiliar with the balanced home box this is a quarterly home decor subscription from the balance company where each quarter you get six to eight wonderful home decor items inside and those items will help spruce up any room in your home the balance box also has like a women's lifestyle box a men's lifestyle box lots of other subscriptions I have already unboxed box the women's lifestyle box um last month this month I don't know last month by the time this is going up um which is really really good I really love their boxes now the home decor box is $84.99 every quarter this box is sent to me free for review and I do have a coupon code down below subbox 20 where you can get 20% off your first box that applies to all of their subscriptions with the exception of the balanced discovery box so if you're interested in the home box or even just want to check out their other subscriptions you can use that 20 percent off code again with the exclusion of the balanced discovery box um this is a woman-owned business so love to share women-owned businesses on my channel and they do ship to the u.s and to canada now i already mentioned the lifestyle boxes for the men's and women's that's a seasonal box as well as the home decor box some of the other boxes they have is that balanced discovery box which I think is seasonal, but they also have monthly boxes. So there's the balanced snack box, which is monthly, and the balanced pantry box, which comes in original, gluten-free, keto-friendly, and vegan. So lots of fun other options out there. And with that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina, and on my channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes. So if you like videos like this, home decor seasonal boxes, or any other boxes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here today unboxing this box with me. It is a pretty big box, so I'm really excited to get inside. All right, when you open it up, there's a very quick sneak peek. Ooh, uh, the very first thing that I'm pulling out is really fun. This is a cheese knife set of four. Okay, so you get a couple different knives. So you get one that is shaped like this. These are sharp, so I'm gonna be very careful. Then you have like a square knife like that. And then you have one that's like, ch -ch -ch. this looks like the little paint scraper thing. <laughs> I don't know what the different purposes for the different cheese knives are. I'm assuming that they have different purposes. If you know, put them down below. And then it also comes with a little pick as well. Super duper cute with the little wood base. Perfect for a nice little charcuterie board. So a nice little cheese board knife set. Cheese, what is it called? Cheese knife set. <laughs> Now I do have the pamphlet pulled up in a PDF over to the side just so I can give more details. And to clean these, it does give cleaning instructions. You just wipe them with a damp sponge and wipe dry. So a nice little cheese knife set. Then to go with it, we have got a really beautiful wooden charcuterie board made with rustic wood. So you can use it for cheese, crackers, cured meats, anything like that. Um, I love that it has like the raised ridge so that like if you wanna put, I know sometimes people put like grapes or tomatoes on their cheese board or fruit. That way it won't like roll off the side. And it has a nice little handle here. You could like attach something to hang it with. Now, if you're somebody who's not really into doing uh, charcuterie boards, this is also a great thing, like a little decor tray. Like I could put this lamp on top of it. I think it would fit at the base if I wanted to put that below it, put little decor and things like that. Or you could display other foods, you know, on it instead. And it says to clean, you just wipe it with a damp cloth. So I think it's really pretty. You can have your little, um, cheese knives to go with your charcuterie board so I love that you get kind of like things to go together in the box which is super cute Ooh, up next we have a throw this is the oversized reversible geometric throw so it opens up oh it's got a really cool pattern but I think like this one this side's much more white I'm assuming that the inside of this Ooh, is more black. I personally like the black side more than the white side, but depending on your style, it is reversible, so you can kind of style it however you want. So this is an oversized throw blanket. It has a little fringe edge on there as well. Um, it's a thick woven fabric that makes it soft to the such to touch, and then also it has that reversible design. It actually feels like nice. 
Um, I really like the way that it feels and I do like the pattern. I don't know where I'll put it because my, I have a, I don't have a traditional couch. I have a Jalsa, which is already patterned and colorful. So this I think would not work, but I'll find another place for it. Um, so you can drape it across the back of your couch or an armchair. Um, or you can put it an extra layer of warmth. You can put it in a little wicker basket. Ooh, that could be a cute, like little, like, you know, like a blanket basket type thing for this. You hand wash in cold water and hang to dry. I think it's really, really nice. I think it's a 130 by 180. I don't know if that, I'm assuming that's inches or maybe it's centimeters. I don't really know. It says it on the little like bag that it came in. So I'm assuming that that might be the size of it, but it's always fun to get a nice throw. And this one feels nice. Like it feels sturdy, but still like comfortable if that makes sense. Ooh, up next we have some wooden beaded garland and we got two ones here. One is like a cream color. And then the one below has like a wood, but like with like a speckled white on top of it. It gives me like those like little Easter egg candy vibes in the in a fun way. And then got little tassels. So it's two separate ones. There are two different ones there that you could either use separately or use together. You can put them on a fireplace mantle, bookshelf, coffee table, drape them around small plants, candlesticks, all that kind of stuff. So I can take one and wrap it around the bottom of my lamp here if I wanted to. I did not do a good job at that at all. Um, but you can use them like that. I feel like these beaded garlands are so in and I like, I don't, I don't feel like I've gotten ones like this. Like these seem like somewhat unique with like the colors. Like I feel like I've seen a lot of white, but this one, well, oh, you know what? This is not cream. It's like a natural wood color. I'm smart, but it, like from a distance, it comes across as cream. And then you get this one there. So two really nice beaded wooden garlands. Ooh, up next is really fun. You're probably like, what in the world? is this. Well, this is a glass cylinder propagation vase. So I do propagate some of my plants. I have some really nice vine plants that I've propagated before and you kind of cut them at a certain place. You can watch videos on YouTube and then you put them in water and let the vines kind of like, or like the um, roots grow and then you can basically propagate them. And so you can have the top of the plant coming out of uh, the center of this cork lid. Super duper pretty. Um, if you are not somebody who wants to propagate or anything like that, I still think this could be a cute little container. I think you could use this as a vase, even like if you get a couple flowers, you can put water in it and the cork is a nice detail, or if you don't want to, you can just take the cork off. And then this can be a nice little storage thing for whatever that you want, like a little vase, a little, like you put beads or um, stones, something like that, sand, and there would look really pretty. Um, but again, you can propagate by putting the, the plant and the water in there and it makes a nice, a really nice decoration as you're propagating the plant. But again, like I said, if you don't know how, or you're not really someone who's into that, this can be used for so many different things as is. I think it's a very, very pretty. And honestly, that's a perfect thing for spring because the springtime is kind of like the best time I feel like to propagate at least where I live. And so like, I just feel like that is a really nice spring touch. All right, up next is a very interesting product here from Back to Earth, and this is their all-purpose cleaner concentrate. So I wanna read more about it in a second. I will say it did like, was a little bit leaked in transit, but it did, it was wrapped really, really well, so it didn't ruin anything in the box. So it had tape around the lid, and then it was in its own Ziploc bag. So nothing in here, but I did just like wipe it down with a paper towel, but I will say it smells so good. It smells like pepperminty, and like earthy and yummy. So let's read more about this because I've heard about cl cleaner concentrates, but I've never used one. So it says clean your home with this chemical free, earth aware, back to earth, all purpose cleaner concentrate made with safe, non toxic, plant based raw ingredients. It's perfect for those who do a lot of cleaning and want to cut down on landfill waste. This two ounce container of highly concentrated natural organic ingredients makes two liters of all purpose cleaner. It cleans your home naturally, leaving it sparkling clean with the familiar clean scent of a well kept home. Okay, so what does it say? Oh, directions. In a spray bottle, mix 30 milliliters of the all-purpose um, concentrate into one liter of purified water. So that's half of this. It smells really, really good. So I'm actually excited <laughs> uh, for that. And I think that this is made in Canada because it says made in Coldstream, BC, which I think is British Columbia. Am I wrong? I don't know. Um, it smells so good though, like so good. I definitely want my house and my countertops and everything to smell like that. Speaking of things that smell good, the next thing out is this here. This is the Home Reed Diffuser, Reed Oil Diffuser, Reed Diffuser, I don't know, in Lemon Sage. Now, I love 
a reed diffuser. I don't burn candles as much anymore because I feel like sometimes it bothered me or whatever. I still do light them, but I don't light them as frequently because it is putting smoke into the air. But what I do really like is like having a reed diffuser because you just walk in from home and it just smells nice. So I'm really excited for this one. I'm curious what it looks like inside. So the reed diffuser bottom looks like this, which is really beautiful. It's like this kind of black gray color. It could almost hint like green brown depending on the light. I can kind of smell it through here and it smells really good. It kind of, that lemon sage is like almost like lemongrassy type of scent. It smells really good. Then you also get black reeds. So it's when you take that gold off, there won't be gold there anymore. It'll just be straight black. It did come with a little tassel if you wanted to have the tassel. If black and gold is your vibe, there's a little tassel that you can hang on the side of it as well. Ooh, this smells really good. Now I'm not gonna open it or do anything with that right now because I do already have a bunch of reed diffusers out and it's gonna be a minute before I need another one. So this one looks like this. So to set the diffuser on a flat surface and carefully remove the cork stopper by rocking it back and forth to loosen while firmly pulling upwards, making sure to avoid spillage. Insert the reed sticks into the bottle to fully saturate, then flip them over and reinsert. Spread the sticks for optimal diffusion and um, allow at least 72 hours for the fragrance to be released. You can style the diffuser on a tray with a couple of other home decor items to complete the look or place it on your kitchen or bathroom counter to add a touch of elegance and freshen up the space. Um, this is really, really nice. I just, and I can tell I like the smell already. I love the design of it because I'm going to be honest, there's some really ugly reed diffusers out in the world, but this one is not. I think this one's really, really pretty, so I can't wait to use it. I tend to flip my reed diffuser sticks like once a week. I have like... <laughs> Right now, I think I have four reed diffusers in my apartment, which I feel like is a lot, but I flip the reeds um, once a week to kind of like get the scent back out there. So really, really excited about this. All right, and that is everything in the balanced home box for spring of 2023. I really like their home boxes because it's not just home decor, like you're getting like functional items, like uh, all-purpose cleaner and like charcuterie knives or whatever. Like I really like the mix where it's not just all straight home decor but it all has to do with the home so i really really like this i did think it felt spr spring too for the most part the blanket reads maybe slightly summer to me but i still think it really is you know can be great all year round because of it's kind of like neutral in, in color but i thought like they um this red spring and it makes me want to propagate something I'm really really excited about this and i just have to say this all-purpose cleaner it smells really like oh it smells so good does it say what's in it probably not this mentioned eucalyptus it's just like minty lavender eucalyptus rosemary type stuff in there which smells really it genuinely smells really really good so i can't wait to make the um all-purpose cleaner out of that but i'm curious on your thoughts what did you think of this balanced home box for spring what did you think of the products inside i would love to hear your thoughts down below Again, I do have that 20% off coupon code that applies to this box and most of the other subscription boxes that they offer. So I'll leave that in the description box. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.